Hey, it's me, Robert Harley, and I'm with... Kiki Dare. All right, and I'm really excited. We're at Evil Pie, and we're doing who has the best pizza on Fremont Street. Is it Evil Pie? Or is it Pizza Rock? I've eaten it both, and we're eating there again. And tell me what you think. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Uh, you know, the great thing about Evil Pie is they've got so many options, so many specialty pizzas. But so does Pizza Rock. So I'm like, crap! Well, these are two of the best places in Las Vegas, right? I mean, yeah. They, they really are. And they're very close. Evil Pie's here. Pizza Rock's down there on Fremont. We'll be going over there now. So let's go inside. Let's order. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, you ready? I'm so let's ready. Let's do it, man. Oh, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Let's do it. I'm dying. Kiki, you ready? So we're inside of Evil Pie. And the place is... Just from looking at it, right? It, it's like a Evil Knievel museum, and I'm a giant Evil Knievel fan, <laughs> so if this place didn't even have pizza, I would be here just to check out some of the memorabilia and photos and things. Yeah, it's, it's way, way cool. And uh, they have a full bar, as you guys can see over here. Let's, let's, let's take a look at the pieces. Yeah. So to me this is cool because um, they have, you know, it all fits in with the, like kind of like the 70s thing. You have the Barry White, Goblin, Maui Wowie. Now this is one of their specialty. We have to get one of these Yeah, slices. I want a slice of that for sure. So because that has Snake, Snake River Canyons or Evil Knievel did his famous room. And there's uh, also rattlesnake sausage on it. That's what I was getting at. The rattlesnake yeah. sausage, it's awesome. So, what kind of slices do you think we should get? We should always get like a, a cheese one, just because that's something you should try. Well, I, the berry white has all the different cheeses on it. So, do you want to get, well, we have to get a, a, a uh, traditional one. You want a traditional one. cheese? Okay. one cheesy. Do you want to do a berry white? Um, let's do a snake river. Snake river, and like, for Let's sure. get like maybe uh, two other slices. About this hot because it has oh, barbecue sauce on I've it. I've had that before. That's good. Let's try one of those. Okay. And then one more. Let's do a mystery slice. Deal. Okay. So now we have our pizza picked up. Hey, brother, how are yes, you doing? Sir, how are you? Uh, good, good. Um, I'm going to get like four slices of pizza, if that's okay. And can we have them when we have them like cut it in half so we can kind of share them up? Uh -huh. All right. So I know the Snake River pizza is one of your uh, specialties. So I'll do a Snake River, a regular cheese. What was the other one we said? Ho oh, heaven. Hog Heaven and a mystery slice. Well, now, does a mystery slice change? What's your name, by the way? Trevor. Trevor, hey Trevor. The mystery kind of changes every day. Today it's like a really spicy one, calabrese sauce, jalapenos, onions. Very, okay. It's hot. I'm excited. Very, very you cool. Guys like hot. I do. Okay. Well, we're just trying to try and get out, you know. Love evil pie. Um, I'm just gonna have a coke. What, what do you want to have? Oh, I kind of want like a glass of wine, maybe. A glass of wine and pizza? Or, okay. Or, well, no, <laughs> they, whatever. They've got wine. I got wine, I got a Chardonnay and a Pinot Noir. A Pinot Noir would be awesome. Okay, so we have some wine and pizza. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna order this now and then we're gonna be back and talk all about the pizza here because uh, you guys, it's a battle today. It's like you're going up against, I heard, yeah. you're going up against <laughs> okay. Pizza Rock we'll right down the street. <laughs> okay, awesome. All right, it's me, Robert Harley, reporting to you from Las Vegas. Let's get Vegas. So you have a, a special co host with me tonight. I'm with. Kiki Deer. Tonight. Today. Today. I'm with, <laughs> today. I'm with Kiki Deer and we're inside of Evil Pie for our pizza face off. Oh my god, so excited. Now both these places, Evil Pie and Pizza Rock, have been rated over and over again as the best pizza in Las Vegas. Absolutely. Evil Pie, I think it was either last year or the year before, won best slice in Las Vegas. Okay. Pizza Rock has won that a number of times. So these are two of the top places in Las Vegas for pizza. Now, I don't want to drop the phone, but I'll take this off. 
in a minute, but Evil Pie one, the whole place is decorated as like an Evil Knievel Museum. Yes. I don't know if you know this or not, but Kelly Knievel, Evil Knievel's son. Excuse me? Owns Evil Pie with um, Brandon. Oh, I didn't know that. I found out about that. That's really awesome. So, very cool place. They have a bar and they have all these different specialty pieces they make. We ordered four slices. We're, get, we're not going to eat them all because we don't want to get super crazy yeah. full. So, all you guys watching, thank you very much. Uh, leave your comments. We'll try to maybe answer some comments as we go. So, what are some of your favorite pizza places in Las Vegas? Oh, wow. Well, I live close by, so I generally order from Pizza Rock a lot. Okay. Um, I love coming here because I love the atmosphere. Okay. There's also a place called uh, Good Pie that's quite good. That's um, another place. I want to do kind of a pizza off between these places. Yeah. Good Pie. Um, there's Metro Pizza, which is popular. There popular. Um, so there's a number of places. What I can tell you though, and this is something that, that's just my opinion about pizza, it depends who's making the pizza because the same people aren't always making it. Absolutely. One time you go there and it is the best pizza you ever had. You go there another time, it's maybe not so good because there's someone else making it. And that's the thing with me with pizza that gets a little, what do you call it? I've been to Pizza Rock before, I made a video, and when I went there, I know Pizza Rock has award-winning pizza. The day that I happened to go, it wasn't the best. Right. And I've been here a number of times, and I came here one time with someone before, and they didn't like it that much, and it was a little off. So, you know, consistency with pizza is a big deal. It, it's really, really hard. Uh, the same thing has happened to me with Pizza Rock, where I've ordered delivery, and one time it was great, the next time it wasn't uh, as good, you know? Like, like he said, it really does depend on the cook that day and how heavy a hand they have with sauce and ingredients and all of that. Oh, here we go. Now we have What's pizzas up? coming. Look at this. Is, this is fantastic. This, Perfect snake river. Okay, so we have a snake river pizza. Cheese. Okay, then we have a couple more. All right, so wait, wait, let's look. So this is, let's pull this up. This is one slice that we had cut in half. And you want to describe what's on it that you know of? So this has roasted oh, red pepper. Oh, that's a cool shirt. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Fantastic. So this has. Uh, your so this has. You know everything that's on it, or? It has onion, cheese, rattlesnake sausage, and roasted red pepper. Yeah. Yeah, roasted red pepper. Yeah, yeah. I'm like newer here, so like yeah. So. Oh, okay. But yeah, yeah, you sound about right on that. Then we have cheese, which is our traditional cheese slice. Where is it? Right over here. And then we have, this is, is this the mystery one? Yeah, yes. Pretty spicy. A spicy mystery pizza. Okay. Yeah, do you want to have that there? And do, what do we have on this? We have jalapenos. Oh man, what's it like? The a chili whole sauce. Jalapenos, red onions, calabrese sauce, mozzarella, ravioli, and the Honey on top. Yeah, the honey, honey on top. Yeah. The honey is what you see. And, and then we have a, 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 a hog this heaven. Hog it's heaven. Maybe like the barbecue variation, the onion, Woo. sausage. So we have. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, totally, guys. Let me know. All right, let's um, try this. Oh, we have some toppings on here. So look at all this pizza. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm all right. So, so I'm gonna go for this one right here first. This is the Snake River pizza. What, what I like about Evil Pie is that they do have these special pizzas. It's something really different I'm gonna try than any place. So, I mean, if you want a rattlesnake sausage pizza, you can only find that here. I mean, I don't think there's another place in Vegas that has a rattlesnake pizza. Most interesting thing to me about this is 
It really reminds me of just a, a sausage pizza. The, the rattlesnake doesn't really have a distinct flavor to me. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's sausage mixed with some rattlesnake. Yeah. And um, it's hard to have because you have so many different flavors in it, but it is good. The sausage is really tasty. Yeah, the sausage is very tasty. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Mm. I don't know if you can see that. We have Elvis and Muhammad Ali there. Like I said, the only place I would make this better is if we had more Elvis in there, because you know me. <laughs> Thank you, man. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Definitely, definitely. Now, I don't want to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. Okay, um, please? That is just, just too low. What now... What I want to rate it on, is this a must come to place when you're in Las Vegas? Is it like, okay, or I'll avoid it at all costs? Okay. So let's have some more pizza. I want to try this one. Okay. So let me have part of that one. Oh, that, this looks, wow, look at that. This yeah. looks really good. Wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is crazy. That's really good. This is super spicy. I've never had a spicy pizza. Yeah. Oh, that's good. And there's the honey on top. It's, uh, woo! And it's really spicy. It's really and because spicy. of that honey, it doesn't hit you how spicy it is until probably a few seconds in. And then it's like, whoa. But it's delicious. Wow. I think they have that uh, those uh, uh, that Italian like the things you put on top of a sub sandwich. Um, wow. Right, so this has calabrese peppers on it, but it also has jalapeno. It also has some of the calabrese oil as well as the honey. So you get this amazing, you know, hot, sweet, salty flavor. This is awesome, you know. See, I look at a place like this, for one, you come here for these specialty pizzas. Oh, yeah. You just don't want to come here, even though we didn't try the cheese, you want to come here for these concoctions they're making up, because, wow, this is something else. Yeah. I didn't, think I, I didn't know if I'd like this or not, but I do li I, I like it a lot. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of an improvement on one of the signature pizzas at Naked City. Because Naked City has a very similar pizza. Not, Naked City, too, is another place that has won the best pizza in Las Vegas before. But I brought people here and they were disappointed. Again, it's who's making the pizza. Well, I, I have to say, this kicks the crap out of their signature pizza that has the honey on it. This wow. is amazing. It's so good. This is really hot. On a scale of 1 to 10 for hotness, how... Um, this is almost as hot as you. That's pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. Being somebody that loves really spicy food, uh, on a scale from 1 to 10, I would actually put this like an 8. I wouldn't put it like a 10, but it's definitely an, an eight, 8. in spicy or an 8 in, in, in flavor? An 8 in spice. Eight in, yeah, it is pretty spicy. Because it, it's pretty spicy. Wow. Now we, I'm, I'm going to try this Hog Heaven pizza. Oh, this, looks, oh. this looks super good too. This is a bomb. Mm. Mm. This is a bomb. Oh wow! Right? That's amazingly good too. Um, the the barbecue sauce that they use instead of the traditional tomato is really smoky and sweet. And it pairs so amazingly well with, you know, the various meats. So you got the pulled pork and the bacon and the ham and, oh, yum. I'm going to say so far, this one is my favorite. You know, I would say this is my second so far without being my number one. But they're all pretty close. I also have a very white pizza, which I also really like. 
So when, this is a great place to come for their specialty pizza. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try the um, regular slice now. There. Mm -hmm. But just having the regular slice and testing it out for the crust and the cheese is, you really wanna come here for the um, great specialty pizzas. This thing, amazing. That hot one is super good too, but it's really hot. Yeah. And, the Snake River Canyon with the sauces is also really good. Mm. Mm. And even the cheese is nice. It has a nice amount of cheese for the sauce and the, the crust. And the crust has that really nice chewy texture when you bite into it with the, the firmness of the bottom. So it reminds me a lot of places that have their water shipped in from New Jersey or New York. And um, yeah, super yummy. Now, I, I was in New York around Halloween. And I, ha you know, I'm originally from New York. I left so long ago when I was very young. So it was, it, it has been decades since I was back in New York. And I had pizza in a few different places. I think even the places there that weren't very good, supposedly, were so freaking good. But this pizza, to me, really has that kind of New York taste to it, you know? It does, it does. And something else that I, I wanted to point out while I was thinking about it is they have a special here for, I think it's one slice or two slices of pizza. It's one, right? Yeah, it's one slice of pizza and a beer. And it doesn't say... Six dollars. Yeah, six, six bucks, guys. And it, you can walk up and pick a rattlesnake pizza for your slice of pizza. I think it's just cheese. Oh, is it just cheese? I think it's just cheese, okay. but well, even though, way, that's great. Even though, if, even if it's just cheese and I was wrong, still, six bucks, you can barely get anything for six dollars anymore, especially high quality food. Mm. Loving it, and we're gonna have to go to Pete's Rock and eat more pizza, so. I would say, no, then I'll let you say what you have to say. I would, for the whole experience here at um, Eagle Pie, I'm going to turn this around, hope I don't drop the phone. Um, you see the bar there, and the, all these all this Evil Knievel memorabilia. There will be a longer video that we will um, post after this, but to me, this is a must-go-to place. Especially if you're a fan of Evil and Evil, and the pizza's great. It's just a great, a great paint. Uh, you know what? I 100% agree. Um, you know, it's got a great atmosphere. They do uh, live shows here at times when we can do that after COVID is done. Um, really hot young staff if you're a cougar like me. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I couldn't resist throwing it in. Dude, good job on hiring. Uh, um, but I mean, food, ambiance, people watching uh, late night Fremont because this place is open late. Pretty fantastic, guys. Like, you can't beat it. Pizza's awesome, you know. Uh, I love it. I love it. I don't know how much these, uh, I think these slices range between $4 and like $5.50 for the Snake River pizza. So you're getting some really unique stuff. Man, that thing is burning in my mouth, man. Oh, it's oh, so good. Darling, you, you got, I don't know how you got it, but you have sauce right here. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I don't know how she has sauce on her head, but I guess you missed your mouth. Oh, uh, well, you know, I was looking to say I was hungry. <laughs> I'm still hungry though. Awesome stuff. Um, let's see, we have uh, about 50 people watching right now. Hey James, how you doing buddy? How, how are you, Danielle? Um, thank you guys for watching. What we're gonna do now, um, we'll be on for a couple more minutes. Then, then we're gonna take a break, walk down the pizza rock, do another video, and then uh, we'll put it all together for you. Yeah, um, hey everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in and enjoying this experience with us because the pizza's so good. I mean, I wish we could just like hand it to you through the screen so you could try it. I like, I mean, I, I like the crust in the dough now. I had a couple places in New York that were like, wow. I went to one place 
called Joe's that was opened since 1975. Oh yeah, Joe's is great. You know that place? Yeah, I do. It's really good. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. Um, there's also, I, I, dude, I can't remember the name of it, and maybe somebody watching can, uh, can tell me. There's a place in Bayonne, New Jersey that does the most amazing razor thin crust pizza I've ever had in my life. Like, you can't order it to, to go. Like, you have to sit there and eat it because it's just not good unless it's like crazy burn your mouth hot. Oh my god, talk about foodgasm in the chair. It's just amazing. <laughs> well, if you know that place, so. Yeah. For I mean, sure. there's just so many good places. So, you know, we're going to hit a few more places. We're doing this today, and uh, I plan on doing the dive bar tour as well. That just came out on Eater today. The 15 biggest dive bars, and 10 of them are places I go to all the time. And so, that's like my specialty. I've been doing dive bars since. Uh, I love a good dive bar. I mean, even when I first was able to drink and go to bars, I wanted to go to dive bars. Like, you're a... I'm a mess. Like, you're a mess. I'm a mess. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, I would say, if you're down on Fremont and you want some pizza, this is a must-go-to place. Your take, what is it? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, even if you go someplace else inside, you like it better. This is a must-go. <laughs> I've never, ha I've never seen anyone <laughs> get more stuff on a slice of pizza. Wow. <laughs> I'm hungry, what can I say? Um, yeah, seriously, guys. Definitely check it out. Okay, we're going to wrap this up now. Okay, so super high rating, great place, great atmosphere. Um, I like that pizza, man. It is really, really good. Uh, and you know what I like, too? Um... If you order to go from here, they give you, uh, and I even, I, I actually kept them, they give you the coolest Evil Knievel box. Let me take this off here. Yeah, yeah, let's see if they'll, they'll show us the box. Hey. Good. Can you guys show me one of your boxes? I, I was talking how cool they are. We're live right now on uh, Facebook over here. So, when you, when you order to go, I'm sorry, I don't have my mask on, you even get this, the attention to detail in the place is amazing. Got Evil Knievel here doing his jump just like on the toy over there. Holding the pizza, Evil Pie, Las Vegas, Nevada. I mean, that's it. It's so cool. Even, that's that's worth the trip just to come here to get the box, man. I'm telling you. Thank you, guys. All right. We're going to be back in a little while. We're going to be over at Pizza Rock and have some more pizza, man. Because let's we're going to see how, how much sauce... Kiki can get on her in the next place. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot for watching. If you left a comment, we will get back to you real... Uh, I will get back to you soon. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Thank you.